Earth spheres. Have you ever been in awe while seeing this, this, or this? These are the absolute wonders that we have in our planet, the planet Earth. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only planet that harbors life. Our planet comprises three major subsystems, land, water, and air. These subsystems are called spheres. The three major spheres are specifically the geosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. First off, let's start with the geosphere. The geosphere is the largest out of the three spheres. The word geo means earth or ground. It extends 6,400 kilometers from the surface down to the core. It comprises the solid portion of the earth. So this includes the mountains, soil, minerals, and anything composed of solid earth. First is the Earth's thin and rocky outer skin called the crust. It is divided into two types based on composition and physical properties, and they are the oceanic and continental crust. The oceanic crust is a thin, dense, and young crust that sinks under the continental crust. It is only about 3 to 5 miles or 8 kilometers thick found under the oceans and is mostly composed of basalt. On the other hand, the continental crust is thick, less dense, and mostly old compared to the oceanic crust. It is about 25 miles or 32 kilometers thick under the continents and mostly composed of granite. As we go deeper, under the crust is the mantle. The mantle is a dense layer of rocks and minerals of iron and magnesium. Since there are differences in pressure and composition in the mantle, it is divided into two layers the upper and lower mantle. The upper mantle is split into two, the lithosphere which is the stiff layer from the crust down to the rigid upper mantle and the stenosphere, the plastic-like upper mantle where rocks can easily move. Lastly, we have the core, which is the deepest portion of the earth and is composed of iron and nickel. It is also parted into two regions based on their physical properties, the outer and inner core. How do they differ? The outer core represents the liquid portion of the core wherein there is a movement of iron. It is believed that the movement of iron generates the Earth's magnetic field. On the other hand, the solid inner core remains in such a phase due to extreme pressure. The Hydrosphere As we all know, hydro means aqua or water. We also know that water takes up about 75% of the Earth's surface area. But before I proceed, I encourage you to subscribe, share, and give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's continue. The hydrosphere includes water from oceans, seas, rivers, and lakes. It also includes underground and hidden water from our site and the ice-locked and polar regions and mountains in high altitude. Those portions where water is frozen or in its solid form is called the cryosphere. Moving on, the next sphere is the one that we've interacted with the most, which is the atmosphere. The word atmos means air. So basically, the atmosphere is the layer of gaseous envelope that surrounds the planet on the surface and extends thinly onto space. It is so important because it provides the exchange of gases we need for respiration, protection from ultraviolet radiation from the sun, and is responsible for the occurrence of greenhouse phenomenon, a natural process which maintains heat. Just like the geosphere, the atmosphere is also divided into layers. The first one is a dense layer wherein life forms and weather occurs, called the troposphere. Above the troposphere is the stratosphere which contains the ozone layer and it is where the airplanes are seen. Above the stratosphere is the coldest layer called the mesosphere where meteors burn up. Above it is the thermosphere. It is the hottest layer of the atmosphere which contains the ionosphere, the region ionized by solar radiation and is responsible for auroras. The final layer is the exosphere, the region of man-made satellites. 
Anything above the exosphere is already the outer space. For our last sphere, we have the biosphere. The prefix bio and biosphere means life, which makes us infer that the biosphere includes all forms of life on Earth from the deepest parts of the ocean to the highest parts of the atmosphere. Without the biosphere, the rest of the other spheres would not look like the way they are now. Living things breathe, they can water, and are agents of sedimentation. If you take care of the Earth, she will take care of you.